Okay, so I think I finally figured out how to correctly wear a lav mic without looking like a dork. So, that's a plus. Welcome to the channel. My name is Matthew, and I'm reviewing the Zion Crane Plus. This feels like a baseball bat. I feel like I could just... Okay, maybe not. What is going on YouTube? My name is Matthew and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Zion Crane Plus. If you guys are new to the channel, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little intro sequence. If you guys have never seen my face on our screen before, be sure to hit that subscribe button and maybe even leave a like on the video. Without a doubt, the Zion Crane Plus is my favorite gimbal for shooting video. It's light, it's portable, it is so small and so handy. And compared to other gimbals that I've used in the past, this probably gives my footage the best look possible. I've used this gimbal everywhere from Washington to Oregon to New York City, and it has never disappointed me. Speaking of using this gimbal in New York City, it actually left me heartbroken because I actually thought I lost it one night. Basically, the story is we were in Times Square and I left my backpack down. We went to like some type of Walgreens or CVS or something like that. And so I decided to leave my stuff after buying the stuff from the store. And we were with some other people and I basically went to go take my camera, try to get a sunset photo, which actually didn't turn out that good. I'll put it up on screen. I thought somebody stole this because I left it with my buddies. It actually turned out I just put it in my camera bag like a responsible filmmaker would. So yeah, that was kind of, yeah, let's not talk about that. Anyways, I'm gonna be telling you guys why I think the Zion Crane Plus is still worth it in 2018 with gimbals like the Zion Crane Weevil Lab and the DJI Ronin S out on the market right now. I really just think that this gimbal is a really solid gimbal and I want to tell you guys my experience with it. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the weight of this gimbal. It's super light. It's only 2.1 pounds and honestly, I can barely feel it when I'm carrying it or carrying it in my camera bag. It really just allows for me to not be too worried about what's in my bag. And honestly, I can always carry this thing in my backpack because I know that it's not taking up too much space. Obviously, I can unscrew this little tripod here that is actually one of the best features i think it comes with a tripod so i can just unscrew this and then screw it back on whenever i want and i never really have to worry about it now the payload on this gimbal is 5.5 pounds at max i've seen people use an a7 III and a 16 to 35 g master lens on this setup and honestly that's a really heavy setup if you don't know personally what i like to use the best is actually the sony a6500 which i'm recording this video with usually with a 16 millimeter sigma lens and this just really allows for a versatile wide angle lens setup for recording those panoramic shots and i've used this gimbal with this setup at weddings and it has worked so good the footage that i get from this gimbal is just honestly really amazing and your footage is just going to be really buttery smooth when you're using this gimbal so now let's talk about the battery life and oh my goodness the battery life is actually insane so i think the last time that i actually charged this gimbal was probably a month ago and i know that's probably not the best thing but i can assure you that it has not died and i've been using this thing almost two times a week now, i actually broke the charger which is the reason that i don't charge it as much as i usually should but the charging time on these batteries is three hours for both of them I've had times where I've shot full weddings without the batteries dying on it. And now on a full charge, I think that the battery life is around 13 hours or something along those lines. The gimbal is actually so easy to use. Sometimes I give my gimbal to my friends to record me. I know I give it to my sister all the time so she can record shots of me. Because sometimes when you don't have creatives in your area, it's a struggle getting the shots that you would want. Now I think you can find this gimbal places for $499, which is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But by all means, I think that this gimbal is really worth it and is not a waste of your money. Personally, I've used this on every project that I've done for clients. There is not one moment where this gimbal is not in my camera bag, not including right now because I took it out to show you guys this. But after using this gimbal for about six months now, I've been able to keep it in shape. And I as you can see it's in pretty great condition if I don't say so myself obviously I take care of my things but I feel like this has probably been beat up more than other items that I own just in pure terms of usage and that's why so yeah that's gonna wrap up my review on the Zion Crane Plus gimbal if you guys want to see another video like this be sure to hit the subscribe button and also leave a like on the video I hope you guys like this video if you guys liked it be sure to leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you've never seen my face on your screen before I've been Matthew you guys have been awesome I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and yeah peace